Okay, forgive me if I seem a bit off. Didn't really get a good night's sleep last night because I was feeling quite, <laughs> quite excited. And so I was pretty confident that um I would finally have my long desired nocturnal emission because that might make me feel a bit lighter. Well, that didn't fucking happen. Instead, I had a dream where I had to cut the grass of a football field with scissors. And the worst part is that uh, I woke up rock hard. I have a lot of questions for myself, a lot to unpack after last night, but uh, anyway, welcome to day 18. <laughs> 12 more days to go. We can power through this shit. <sighs> Uh, I don't remember where we left off. So, what's next? Inspect the shuttle. Um, let's have a closer look. Mm hmm. I think I know that logo. That's from Space Call Intergalactic. We make your call heard throughout the galaxy. Well, I suppose some people are on hold right now. Alright, let's get scanning. You have fucking massive hands, my dude. Imagine having those hands grasping your processing. Weep, weep. Scan report ready. Ah, uh, great. Uh, let's see what the report says. Uh, I see. Multiple hull breaches. Oh, there's a wing snapped off. And the engine is clearly leaking electrofluids. Also, the hatch seems to be jammed. That's too bad. It would be a lot easier to fix things from the inside. Oh well. So, uh, what's next? Uh, let's quick save. Un Just in case we die during this inspect. Ins. Ins. In. Inspectation. Inspection. Yes! Haha! <laughs> uh, twist hatch open. Wait a minute. Maybe I can use the helping hands to open the hatch. They are supposed to be pretty powerful. That's a dangerous position, my dude. Oh, let's see if I can get some creep on that hatch. Oh, that's uh something. I like the animations. They are really charming. Uh, I should have practiced more with this, I guess. Zeep. Zeep. Okay, this is not the way. Let's uh, try it from another angle. Angle. Pull the hatch open. Hmm. Perhaps I can pull the hatch open. Let's give it a try. Bzz, tzz, tzz. Whoa. <laughs> uh, this is going better. Bzeep. Bzeep. Almost there. Squeak. Squeak. Or not. No, this isn't working. Too bad. I'm sure I almost had it open. Bet it would work. If only I could lower the friction somehow. Um, should keep an eye out for some type of powerful lubricant. Ooh. Okay, let's go look for the lubricant. Deliver a scan report. Oh, hi. Is that the captain? She is the captain. I thought I was under the assumption that the captain was a male. I did give her a male voice, so uh, just had to stick with that. Um, ah, uh, it's you, Keen. You had a question? Um, just assess the damage of the shadow. You can read the details in this report. Hmm. Thank you, Keen. Let's have a look at them. Zzz, zzz, hmm. Zzz. Okay, I see. It's not a total loss. Can you see to it that this shuttle gets repaired, Keen? I'm sure the pilot would appreciate it. Um, well, I like to, but that might be a bit difficult. I happen to notice that there are no spare parts left in the storage room. Yes, I am aware of that. Unfortunately, we were unable to restock our supplies. Our supplier found out that I am a woman, so, uh... He was kinda pissed about that. However, you should be able to create most parts yourself. Just use the 3D printer we set up in your room. Or just have a look around the ship. Feel free to use whatever you need. Uh, yes, Captain. And although I'd like to see the shuttle repaired, it has no priority. 
As you can see, our own ship is in desperate need of repairs as well. So please, fix any problem as you encounter it. I will, Captain. Is there anything else? Well, if I may ask, how did the Green Beetle get in such a bad shape? Well, it's no secret. I fucked it. We are simply running out of money. Oh, how can that be? I thought this was a government funded operation. Yes, it used to be when there were just a few ships exploring the first quadrant. Back then, these rescue and relax ships were the only hope for stranded spaceships. But now that there are so many spaceships around, the Earth government figured that specialized rescue ships like ours are no longer a vital service. And then the funding stopped. That was five years ago. By now, most rescue ships have either been turned into cargo ships, or have been dismantled for parts. I had no idea. Um, so what do you continue without funding? That must be tough. It was very difficult indeed. And we were about to sell the ship and be done with it. But then... Ah, uh, uh, forget I said that. Fuck. I have to finish this navigation route. Because you see... Once we go black... <laughs> we ain't going back! That's strange. I wonder what changed your mind. Was there anything else? Well... Guess we can leave for now. Dot dot dot. Some time passes while Keen makes his first repairs around the ship. Dot dot dot. Knock knock. Ship. Ah fuck. Okay, future me. Keep an eye out on stuff behind me. Oh, it's her! Hi, Keen! Do you have a moment? There's something I'd like to ask you. That was her voice, right? Oh, hey, Loon. Yeah, sure, ask away. Well, I have this old holo camera I'd like to use. But it seems to be broken. Could you maybe fix it for me if you had the time? A holo camera? That's interesting. And what seems to be wrong with it? Well, I'm not really sure, actually, but... Uh, but... Uh, <laughs> but the holos just don't come out right. And it makes a weird buzzing sound. Well, I think that sound might be normal, but no worries. I'll have a look and fix it for you. Thanks, Keen. I, I would have... <laughs> I'd appreciate it. Just put it over there. Then I'll, and then I'll bring it over once I'm done. Great, I'll be in my room. See you later. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. I haven't done any voice exercises yet, so, uh, so that voice is... Hard to pull off. Do your hair. Huh. I have no time to do my hair. I got to... I got a camera to fix. Okay. So this... So this... So this is a loon's holo camera. She told me there was something wrong with it. Let's have a look then. Hmm. There's no obvious damage anywhere. I'd better make a few holos. Maybe that gives me a clue about the defect. Um, these holos look fine, even though the lighting in this room is terrible. Strange. So what was wrong with the loon's holos then? Scroll back a bit. Wait, is this a dolphin? Or maybe it's loon on her be- oh. <laughs> Yes! Show me! I can barely see, it's all so blurry. What? Huh? Oh, is this her hand covering the lens? All black images. Um. Didn't she take the lens cap off? Right. This camera is working just fine. Oh, come on! Don't cook these us just like that. Don't tell! Show. The number one rule of game. Ming. But I suppose Loon could use a bit more practice in holography, that's all. Well then, I should return the camera to Loon and bring her the good news. Ah. Hey, Loon. Oh, hi, Keen! <laughs> Compliment Loon! <laughs> oh, let's do that. <laughs> Your room looks pretty nice. Ah, oh, thanks, Keen. It's a bit of a mess, but I quite like it. 
Ah, uh, okay. Is it the same thing if I... Yeah, it is. About the camera. Well, I have good news. Your camera isn't broken. Really? Then why did all the pictures look so bad? Oh, she's cute. Well, uh, how can I say this? I scrolled back through your pictures, uh, and I guess you just need a bit more practice, that's all. Oh no, that's so embarrassing. I was confident that I did, I did it right. I mean, <clears throat> I can pilot a spaceship. How can I be so bad at using a simple camera? Don't be too hard on yourself. This holo camera is actually a bit of an antique. It has an outdated interface that doesn't even accept voice commands at all. So it's not that strange that you would have some trouble with it. Thanks for making me feel like a less of an idiot. Well, then, <laughs> then I suppose I just have to put some more time into it. You know, when I was in college, I used to work at a... <laughs> camera repair shop. So I have some experience with this model. If you want, I can show you how it works. Really? That would be great. Thanks, Keen. Cool, cool stuff you got. Whoa, is that a parachute above your bed? Yes, it is. I collect those rescue tools from the last century. It's kind of my hobby. I think the parachute was used by pilots who flew planes. That is so cool. Thanks for taking an interest. I find that old stuff fascinating. Good talk, tips. So, uh, you want to know some more about your holo camera? Yes, can we maybe go over the basics? Let, let me see. This camera has... This camera has R over 60 set... <laughs> this camera has over 60 settings. Oh, designed for different shoots. Wait... 60? Do I really need to learn all of them? Uh, no. We can just focus on the setting that you need for now. So, what did you want to use the camera for? Well, I want to make some pictures. Um. <laughs> <laughs> of myself? Oh, shit! Oh, those were selfies. Are they for your Insta spam channel? Uh, no. What the fuck? It's for, uh, something else. Okay. Can you maybe tell me what they are going to be for? Well, it's a... Uh... <laughs> Wait! You have some holo girl posters in your room, right? Wait, what? Ho holo posters? Yeah, you know, the posters with those girls on them. Oh yeah, yes, they are on the wall. B because those are for... <laughs> <laughs> no need to explain. I already know why you have them on your wall. Well, I as well like to get my dick wet into some holo girls. You you do? Of course. <laughs> I think it's great you support all those charities. <laughs> Wait, what now? Charities? Ron told me about it. He has quite a stack of holo magazines in his room. On his room. When we talked about it. He said that the entire profits of the magazine go straight to a charity chosen by the models. Oh, that's what you mean. I never knew this before, but those girls are amazing. And you see, that's what I want to do as well. Uh, wait, what? You mean, you want to do a nude holo shoot? Yes, for charity. I might feel a bit weird about taking off my clothes, but um... But I think I can do some good with it, so why not? Oh, she is sweet. Uh. What is it? Don't you think I'm pretty enough? No! <laughs> You're not! <laughs> you are! Actually, I think it would be great. I was just thinking about... What, what will I have for lunch? The settings! <laughs> sure you were. But thanks. I'm glad you think I can do it. Expert? Hmm, hey, now that I think about it, didn't Ron mention that he lent the holo magazines from you? Uh, yes, he asked for them last week. So you know the magazine inside out? 
And you're a holo camera expert! Hmm. I bet you also visit the reddit.com! Also, I heard that you fucking degenerates practice etching during No Not November. That's so dangerous. Keen! Would you please help me with this? You mean help you with the holo shoot? Are, are you sure? Yes, you really seem like the perfect person for this. And I just don't think I can do this on my own. <laughs> I know. It might become a little weird, I suppose. But I would really appreciate your help. Well, if, you're re if you are really sure, I, then I'm happy to help. Actually, being a part of Miss Hollow Shoot is like a dream come true. Thank you so much, Queen. So, how can I help you, Loon? Well, I thought for starters, could you bring me some of your whole or magazines? I have no experience in modeling at all, so I should really practice some poses. And I should come up with a theme for our shoe as well. Sure, I'll go talk to Ron and ask my magazines back. Thanks, can't wait to get started. We will do that tomorrow, so I'll see you then. Goodbye. <laughs>